Hello everyone, my name is Catherine. I'm from the CIE Adult Education University of Hong Kong. And today, actually, I'm going to share with you about technology and we can talk about how to use student examples in teaching academic writing. Um, so, firstly, this is an overview of my talk today. Uh, basically, I'm going to introduce the challenges in teaching academic writing from my experience and my observations as a teacher. And then uh, we're going to go through some of the literature review in terms of uh, how to integrate student examples in teaching and of course the advantages and the certain potential problems that might, people might face when we're going to be the uh, practitioners in reality. And then I'll show you one of the examples how I integrated in my teaching and how it helped my students to improve their learning outcomes. Mm, so the last part will be some of the implications. So, um, in the literature, in terms of the students' uh, perceptions of the difficulties in adapt writing, they're quite a few. In general, and one of the biggest problems probably the uh, students said that they couldn't really understand what teachers really want in their writing. They feel like there's a gap between expectations and also, what they say, the requirements. And usually, if you take look at the requirements, or we say such some guidelines to give them in the very first beginning, we, we teachers feel like it's pretty easy for you to construct a, a naysay or a say, um, design genre that you are intended to do. But then in reality, it seems like that's a big problem. And of course, there are other things uh, that the students are experiencing uh, in reality, which I will show you later uh, through the examples. So in my observations, um, there are three problems when we are teaching the academic writing courses, uh, especially the first year course. Um, one of the things is that we actually have to teach quite a lot of our content, uh, academic writing skills, the basic set of the writing skills within their time. Um, like us, we have 39 hours, but then the teaching hours actually are quite limited for us to fully cover all of the essential skills that we needed uh, for students to complete a good piece of writing. As students come from different backgrounds. And another thing, according to my uh, observation, in general, students like in our university, they don't particularly like writing. Uh, I mean, reading activities especially. If you give them a long piece of reading, they tend to be very reluctant. Uh, so that may cause a problem in terms of uh, their classroom design of the activities as well. So the solutions, um, this firstly comes from my experience as a learner. Then uh, I record my memory uh, when I was a student, um, the first year course then my actual university provided a textbook that is actually a collection of student examples covering different genres and the every student, first year student, if you're going to take that English course, you have to buy that textbook to actually have a wide exposure towards how students actually read better. So then I think about maybe that's going to be a way for me to help my students to learn how to write. So, um, Examplers as a um, settler actually in 1987 has really identified, could be able to help to students to identify what quality is, what is expected. So the potential um, benefits, as we can see, generally there are three. Number one, uh, it could be able to help students to understand the nature and characteristics of quality. Number two, it helps students to understand uh, when they receive the grades or with a feedback from teachers, how they can interpret the feedback and then for further improvement. And number three, I guess that were related to language motivation. The previous speakers have already shared with us, which plays a very important role towards their learning outcomes. So uh, because of the reasons that people choose to uh, incorporate those kinds of uh, examples in the writing, in the course, so, they, but still, we have some of the concerns that we always are fear, fear, fear of uh, using them. It could be a negative transfer. Sometimes the transfer, positive transfer, may not happen because of plagiarism. Because of uh, students may just want an A grade, then they try to imitate. So that probably uh, people doubt whether students are actually transferring the insights into their own work or simply just a copy. So um, then another concern probably will be really how to implement the using of the examples. For example, do I need to spend time in class? Or should I just give them some of the examples? Can they read it by themselves? So that's a concern as well. Then um, how did I do it? 
I guess uh, I actually used both. Uh, in the very beginning, uh, our course materials writers, they actually provide quite a good, a few examples constructed by the course developer that could be able to show um, students how to start to uh, academic writing at the very beginning. Then I supplemented with some of the authentic examples constructed by students writers in the previous cohort, working on the same assignment. Then I will be able to explain to you why I choose to supplement this part. So uh, in general, uh, I found that the course materials provide quite a high quality example, so let's say a uh, model that students may be able to infer their uh, how to do their own writing. But for in our university, most of students language proficiency actually are comparatively lower than your universities, I guess. So they feel like there's a distance between the model answers provided or say a model writing provided and their own proficiency. So this causes a problem in terms of the learning outcomes, untenable. And another thing is that they're not very engaged when we are doing the analysis in the um, classroom activities of those kinds of model, answer, model examples provided. So another thing that you could be able to take a look at is the nature of the task we provided to students. Uh, I think this is actually is quite demanding in terms of the topic. Uh, students have to think about assessment in line and also uh, there are quite a few things, academic skills that will be needed will be like commentary, like how to explain, how to look for sources, uh, despite of the language skills that will be required to complete this task. So this is actually an example that we provided in the course materials and students actually feel like it's quite difficult for them to comprehend and then to use it. So then I supplement with uh, the same assessment with two student examples. Then one, this one is actually slightly better than the other one. And then they could be able to compare and then they could be able to learn from um, how they could be able to see this as an achievable learning goal. Then they could be able to imitate. So my conclusion actually, I think um, the two examples or is it two types of examples provide different insights. Uh, one thing is that uh, students could be able to get to know the basic set of skills through their model examples and in discussion. And also another thing is their supplementary student examples are very essential. So they could be able to help students to deal with more difficult uh, parts like content uh, and also how to select resources. So um, here I provided uh, some of the models, how this has been done in reality, but because of time we can't really cover that. So my um, insights is that I think using all the examples have to potential uh, advantages to help students learn. It makes qualities invisible and could be also bridge the gap. And another thing is that uh, we make a learning achievable as well for them to transfer those skills into their own writing. So that's the end of my sharing.